Okay, if the testing is performed through an Intertech lab, then the label will be provided as a free of charge service, but that product must be tested at one of our PPE centres of excellence. Yes, so that means if um, they are not in the Intertech customer, then they cannot use this label at all. Correct, because otherwise we have no way of verifying that the product has been tested and the testing is compliant with the stated requ requirements. Yes, and another question is, will the fabric fashion face mask be considered under this labeling program? The fashion type face mask or community face mask or barrier face covering will not be within the scope of this program as it stands at the moment. But in the next couple of weeks, we will be communicating an extension of this program to cover community face masks. And that would be within the scope of that if those community face masks meet some of the specifications, such as the CWA 17553 or the ASTM F3502, which have been published under recognised specifications for community masks. Thank you, Mike. Uh, following the test standards on community masks, actually, we have an audience asking if we are using the testing requirements for CWA 17553 or the BSI Flex 5555 for community face mask testing, uh, whether these two will be the testing requirements for the community face mask? Yes, they, they will be, um, but it will be dependent upon what is submitted because there are slight differences between the two standards. Both can be tested for at our Intertech labs and labelling should be, be able to be provided for both standards. Okay. And we have a customer asking the process for applying for a test of a medical face mask and they would wish to gain the CE certification as well. I think they can, we can reach out to them uh, after the webinar. We will have someone to follow up uh, with their inquiry. Okay. So for the UK, uh, some audience would be interested to know whether we will require the UK CE mark instead of the CE mark now. It is not required now, but it will be required going forward that instead of applying a CE mark, then for the UK market, a UK CA mark should be applied instead or in addition to the CE mark. So the principles of what we covered today in how to CE mark your product apply in exactly the same way for a UK CA mark except where notified body approval is required, in which case that notified body should be based in the UK. But the, the, the principles are the same, it's just that the mark would be slightly different and slight differences in the approval room. So we have one question on the technical part. So not all the masks will be the same inside and out. So how is the test the best test to determine the suitability of face coverings? Um, when the tests are carried out on to the medical mask, then it is the composite of the mask which should be tested for performance parameters such as bacterial filtration and for the breathability test or differential pressure test. 
So it is that composite material which should be tested and that should be representative of the whole of the mask so that the mask performance is evaluated rather than just an individual layer of the mask. That does not prevent components from being tested, but the final evaluation should be on the final product itself. Okay, but if it, if it is not a medical mask, but the face covering, what's uh, the requirement? And again, th then the, the final product should be assessed for the particulate filtration or for the breathability. So regardless of how it is constructed in terms of layers, the testing should be conducted on the final product or a composite of the final product. Okay, we have uh, one last question. Um, will the mask label scheme be rolled out to the N149 FFP mask that, that is the respirators as well? Yes, it will be, yes. So it will cover any regulatory standard such as EM149 or EM14683 and the equivalent US regulatory standards also. Yes, and this is available currently already, the respirators as well as the medical mask. Yes, correct. So um, I guess that's the last question already. So thank you all for joining once again. As a final reminder to our attendees, a PDF of this entire presentation, as well as a link to the recording, we will email to you afterwards. The PDF includes the contact information if you have further questions. Thank you once again, and enjoy the rest of your day, please. Bye-bye.